We started off the morning at Waikiki Yacht Club bright and early at 7 a.m. And we paddled for around 10 to 11 miles. So this is my canoe. It actually was a pretty good paddle. We also, the girl sitting behind me, I'm sitting in seat number one. The girl sitting behind me is only 12 years old. So we're really proud of her. And she's only been paddling for a month. So this is a video of Keith's canoe. Um, all of them are really strong men and they're all really nice. All of them have been paddling for years except for Keith. Keith is sitting in seat number three with the white shirt. Um, he just started maybe he's only done it maybe like four times and i've been wanting him to get more into it hey guys so we just finished our 10 mile paddle and we're in chinatown now because we're gonna go eat some vietnamese food yum what are you talking about weirdo what? no We're eating some bumbo hoya. Keith has never had blood before. Try it. It's so good, Keith. It has an acquired taste, but I love eating this as a kid, but it's really hard to find. What do you think? I'm feeling bad. It's so good. I love it. Hey guys. So we went to pick up my new glasses at the mall. Aren't they so cute? I really like them. They're from Maui Gym, and wow, I can see so much better. I really like that. Of course, they're translucent, but there's a pink tint on it, so it doesn't look like safety goggles because I've noticed that a lot of the um, translucent glasses I've tried on, they are very safety goggly or they look plastic and cheap, but this one just like is heavy, it's nice, it feels like really good quality products. I'm very, very happy about it. Yay! And now I'm at home and I'm just um, taking the dish out of the dishwasher. Keith went to go fix his boat. Um, I'm sunburned from my red nose and look at this. My little tan. Because I remember I started paddling, right? I think we were like three miles in. And I was like, shit! <laughs> Put on any sunscreen. But... Today was a hard paddle. It was so windy. I think it was probably like 15 knots of wind. Whew. And I've never paddled 10 miles. And I'm really proud of myself. Like, I'm very happy. I didn't think... I thought it was going to be like... So, first of all, I was stroker. And I was really surprised that my coach put me as stroker, which is seat number one. And they're the one that sets the pace for the crew. And... I don't know, I just haven't done it much and I've never even done stroking for probably more than five miles. And did it for 10 miles today, it was crazy. Yeah, so I'm really, really happy about today. Um, we went to eat some Vietnamese food in Chinatown too. Yum. And then we just went home. Um, I think we watched, oh, we we're researching my thalassemia issues because I'm thalassemic. And I don't really know much about it. Doctors didn't really tell me much about it. They were like, you can't do anything. And I was like, okay, well, you can tell me about it. And they didn't. So we were researching it and then we got really bored. So we went to sleep. All right, guys, for dinner, we're making some king crab. And I'll show you guys what we're doing. So Keith bought some king crab from Costco. Yum. What are you doing? Cracking them? So they can fit in the pot? Because we don't have a pot that's big enough for king crab. So I'll show you guys where he's putting it into. So what is in here is a Cajun boil powder. We used Louisiana one, the shrimp crab boil. Stay, okay. So we boiled some water, put some of that in there, some garlic and lemon went in. Your hands okay? Cold. Cold. Super cold, yeah. My, okay. My hands aren't used to cold living here. So we heat up some um, rice, just put some leftover rice, melted some butter, this is about half a stick, or no, there's about one stick of butter in there, I think. Yeah, that's one stick. And just heat it up, put it on low, and we're gonna put some garlic in. So usually I would put in some 
onions first, but we don't have any, so I'm putting some green onions. Okay, so Keith is throwing in some of the crab, and in the meantime, we're gonna make the sauce. So I'm gonna throw in some garlic and green onions, just normal onions, big ones, if you have it. It's funny that we don't have a lot of food at home, but we have king crab at home. We don't have what? A lot of food at home, like produce and stuff. No, we don't. But we have king crab to eat. <laughs> All right. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Nope. Nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. Throw that in. Gonna mix it up. That's all we have left. Let's see how much do we have left? Oh, we'll just eat that next. How many did you put in? Four. Four legs. Yeah, just do four. That's enough. Alexa, play a lot for 12 minutes. When you see the yellow light on your device, it means you have a notification or message. Just say. You're on. Okay. So, um, the garlic has been in the butter for like maybe two minutes now. And I'm getting impatient. So I'm going to put some olive oil in here, maybe tablespoons, two tablespoons. And then we're going to be putting one tablespoon of paprika. Kind of just eye it. We like a lot though. Yeah. Maybe I'll put a little bit more. That was a little bit more spring. It's just because it's taking a long time to come out. Remember to put on low. Okay. Tapes went into Basco. We like a lot. Is that enough? Okay. Way, yeah, definitely enough. Okay. And then I'm going to do two tablespoons of Cajun one and two tablespoons of Old Bay. It's going to be spicy as fuck. Or maybe do one tablespoon of each. You can, if you just have one of these, put two tablespoons. Okay. Or just do as you feel. Similar, just a little bit different, but they're both Cajun. And then chili oil, the aging chili oil. Do a tablespoon of that. So it's not really spicy, it's very, it's like a good oily taste. And then, so we're gonna mix this up, and then we're gonna add all the lemon in it. So this is what it looks like now. And then if you're like running out of liquid, just add a little bit more olive oil or uh, butter in it. So try not to get the seeds in it, but I tried to take out most of the seeds before I squeezed it. So in the background is fishing. <laughs> there is some fishing going on over there. On, on the TV, not real life fishing. <laughs> Try not to get any of the seeds in there. I hate that lemons have so many seeds. Or is it the GMO lemons have seeds? No, I think it's regular, oh. yeah, regular lemons normally have them. So you can make this, because the crab is gonna take 12 minutes and then this will take you like 10 minutes to make, if you have all the ingredients.
And then if it's too spicy, just add more butter. Okay, after we squeeze on the lemon, I will get back to you guys. We're gonna get ready to eat some great Cajun. Can you also put some of the sauce at the bottom so we can dip it too? Mm -hmm. That'd be good. And then I'll show you guys um, the end result of the sauce after the two lemons. Yum. I'm excited to eat. It's gonna be a good dinner. Hey guys, we just ate dinner and watched, well, we ate dinner a couple hours ago and we watched some YouTube videos. Now we're going to bed. Bye.